guys, good morning. We're hooked up. Been drifting for, you know, we've been drifting for about 10 minutes. Finally got my depth right. The water's real low today. And I think we're into a laker here based on the fight. It actually feels like I'm hooked on bottom. So, I mentioned uh, we're here with Tommy, the trout master this morning. He's working on the center pin stuff. You help me with the net, bud? Yeah, I'm on. If you can help me net them. Yeah, please. <laughs> Two old guys just yelling at each other in the dark. <laughs> no, neither one of us can hear. Oh, you can see this guy. The head shaking down there going crazy. Yeah, buddy. Lakers behave. We're, uh, again, these are bycatch. Um, really going after the steelhead, which we got some good reports that there was some nice steelhead in here. He's, take your time, take your time. He's not ready, but. I had a, I had a I had somebody comment on a video that said I would just go downstream and turn their head and it would be over in three minutes and I was like ah I don't know how I don't know how much experience you have with you know 10 pound fish and five mile an hour current or whatever it is <laughs> but it does it doesn't go that way I mean you know we're not babying them and they will give you the business the guys in the boats usually take some you know, at least half the drift to land, to land one. And they've got direct up and down their drift and, you know, look at this thing go. She's, yeah, it's definitely a lake trout. Oh man. We were having some GoPro trouble this week. We've been doing a lot of fish and it got cold. And um, so I just Googled like cold weather battery for GoPro. Like, what do you do? Like, I don't want to be putting hot hands on this thing. Uh oh. Um, but uh, they make a, a battery for cold weather called the Enduro or Endura. So that's what we got in here today. Cool. It's supposed to be good down to 14 degrees, which we will definitely do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we will give that a try. So. so when you net them, just keep them in the water. Want to make sure we're taking good care of them. Jeez. I mean, come on, bud. That's a big fish. I don't know if I can get him up right there, bud. Every time I think I can, he does yeah. something. Kinda. Yeah. He gets, oh, he's wrapped in it, that's why. Remember, I got the double bead there yeah. as well. Just watch yourself in case that pulls. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> we don't. We don't want to be. Uh, wanna we don't want to be putting Tommy in there. <laughs> the trout master goes down. That might. Nope. He saw you. Yeah, he did. He doesn't like. He, he doesn't like you. <laughs> He's gonna come back and do the same thing. I think. Uh, yeah, bud. In the water. In the water. Yep. Nice. Just gorgeous. I mean, oh, the, the fin tips. I mean, it doesn't get any better. Just gorgeous. So, we're going to get a nice release on this guy. And uh, let's see what we're going to do here. There he goes. None the worse for wear. All right, guys. Good morning. You just saw the first fish of the day. Uh, Tommy the Trout Master and I are... Uh, Hitting the lower river, uh, lower Niagara River, looking for some steelhead. We got some reports that some steelhead were biting in here. Um, I've been fishing like crazy this week. I had a few days off and just having a great time. So uh, if you like the videos, be sure to subscribe for us. Um, trying to hit that magic number of a thousand. We're, we're getting pretty darn close, which is real exciting. Um, and just looking forward to bringing you guys like a ton more cool content. So um, yeah, appreciate it. Hang with us. I'm sure there's gonna be more. All right, guys, uh, we just 
we just released that Laker. We'll show you what we're running. It's the double bead uh, Chartreuse 10 mil. And then you just, the hook is right here. Again, that bead rig. And then I went down to a natural. Ouch, those hooks are sharp. <laughs> went down to a natural right there, uh, 8 mil. And then there's the, uh, there's the hook. So that's what they're doing. That fish took the natural, which is pretty sweet. Again, targeting the steelhead. Um, but, you know, there's so many lake trout in here right now spawning uh, that it's going to be it's going to be tough not to, to hook a few. So we'll see what the morning brings. We only got a couple hours this morning and um, we'll go from there. I usually overcast and then drag it back in to the depth I want precisely rather because you need time for the line to get down you know 20 some feet anyway so got one boat in the drift already this morning all right hooked up with the second one that was a weird weird bite I was just filming too, trying to get some bobber downs. Oh, that's a big fish. This is a big fish. He's just sitting down there. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is a monster. Honestly, I thought I had bottom, except for it took a run. <laughs> I mean, really. This is, this feels much bigger than the last one. I only got eight pound on, eight pound liter. Holy cow. I got nothing. I can't even move them. I can just feel them head shaking down there. Holy jeez Louise. Oh. I think he was hooked to the bottom. I think the other, I think the other beat was hooked to the bottom. Ah, oh, hold him. That was weird. He may have been, that fish may have been foul hooked. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't break anything. Yeah, that's what happened. He took, oh, look at that. Guys, these are not cheap hooks. And he bent that straight out. I knew that was a big, big fish. All right, I'm gonna have to re-rig that hook, obviously, and uh, get back out there. All right, I think that was a size eight. We're gonna need to go to a size six. A little bit stouter hook, I think. I don't know if I got any left, but holy smokes, we can't have that. Yeah, we'll go to a six, see what we can do. That's uh He was pulling so hard. Man, alive. I'm shaking from that fight. <laughs> Usually you feel like you can get him in. That one, I felt like I had no chance. I felt like I was gonna have to get real lucky to get that one in. So, slide the bead down. All right, I gotta rig a dropper back up on here and we'll be good to go. Tom. Hooked up again, guys. Holy cow. Just when the current picked up. So. It's number three on the morning, hooked up. We'll see if we can get this one. We bent the hook out on the last one. The current is pushing hard against the shore right here today. So I might have to go up to like 10 pound. See if we can get this fish to come up here. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Whew. We gotta get Tom's attention too. And the boat wake, of course. I haven't seen the boats really hook up here. Tom! 
Tommy. <laughs> Tom. All right, we got the old man's attention. <laughs> it's nice not being the oldest guy on the bank. Just bent, bent. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but holy cow. Man, go ahead and stick that in your pocket. We're gonna need it in a minute, hopefully. Oh, geez. Dude, that last one bent that hook straight out, Tom. I couldn't believe it. The current is pushing real hard against shore today. Like right here, there's a good rip. And it is, it's, holy cow though. And usually there's some nice slack water right here to fight them, you know. I'm getting, getting a little weary. Yeah, that last one hung the bottom bead on the bottom. I gave it a little slack, it pulled itself out when it went downstream, and then, I, and then the fight was on. Oh man. Nice and easy. We probably got a couple minutes of this, huh? <laughs> I'll try to back up a little bit. I had a couple of good casts in, and one of them that was a good cast. Yeah? And you got bit. Got bit. Dude, that's great. And I fought, I felt the hood the for a few minutes. We'll come down and do a little a little uh, lesson on casting. Casting the pit. Gosh, that thing is huge. Not yet? Yeah, that's a great big one. Holy cow. It's so crazy. Yeah, it's big. Did you see which beat it was on? These boat wakes don't make it any easier. And these guys, unfortunately, don't care too much. When I tied off, I put one color on my top. Yeah? Dude, is that a salmon? No, it looks like a lake. Big. He's that big, huh? You might want to, you might have to come up here. You might have to follow him down. I don't know. Oh, this guy's hooked up too. Up above us. All right, Tom. Get in there, bud. Dude, get in there. Get in there. Come on. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Oh, there you go. You got it. All right, guys. All right. This is a giant. <laughs> I don't know how to even tell you. This is a giant fish right here. Giant lake trout. It was a good fight. We kept him in the net the whole time. Um, so, and he's, you can see he's ready to go already. Look at the girth though, guys. Oh, gorgeous. There he goes. <laughs> Thanks for that. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> nice job on the net. I appreciate you helping me out, buddy. No worries. All right, man. Let's get back at it. got good watercolor today too it's a little cloudy oh there's one right there guys I think he got the bobber down <laughs> Tom yeah we're going again we just released that giant and I'm hooked up again holy cow holy cow Whew, they're stacked up in here <laughs> These things are unbelievable. Let's see what we can do here. We got Tom coming. Keep us company. Jeez. Just so big. You can see my float there. Yeah. Now I just gotta time it all together. Tom's working on his uh, casting with his, his center pin today. He's new to it. I'll give him a lot of credit. Casting for us is a mystery. <laughs> so we got Will as a as a teacher, but Will's not here today. Will's working. 
<laughs> Work. Work. Work for <laughs> oh man, this is a great Friday morning. It's a great Friday morning. Oh, this one, is he going to give up? Nope. <laughs> I was going to say, is he going to give up early? He's been pretty tame out of all the ones we fought this morning. This guy has been pretty, pretty together. Yeah, you almost got to hang out with two hands. They jerk so hard. Yeah. He, he almost jerked the rod out of my hand. I mean, it's crazy. I thought we were going to get him right there. Yeah. Shoot. He's got one down there. Yeah, there was a good pot of fish up there. Good pot of fish. Just pulling as hard as you dare. Try to get their heads up. Holy cow. Oh, God. <laughs> he can't do that, can he? Oh, here he goes. Are you kidding me? Holy cow. These boats make it tough too. The boat wakes. Look at these two racing up through here. <laughs> Look at them go. Brook dog on the outside. Brook dog on the outside, we think. Yep. Yep. Who wants it more? Oh, this guy. <laughs> oh man, this fish went right back out to where I hooked him. I thought we had him, Tom. He was acting kind of sleepy. You know? Yeah. I mean, this is getting ridiculous at this point. I put my finger on the drag quite a bit. I don't know. It's not the best idea probably, but. And this thing is, it just is throwing that thing around. Throwing its head around. This should be it, I would think, after that run. If I can get him through this current, I would think that he's going to be all right to net. I mean, I'm literally, I'm not a big fan of pumping the rod. I'm pumping the rod. Trying to pick up line. <laughs> Holy cow, it's out. Dude. He took off, I don't know, 30 feet of line? It was, yeah. It was, yeah. It was crazy. And now I can't, I got about half of it back. And I can't get the rest of it. Uh-oh, we got some weeds on the line for a little added adventure. <laughs> Jeez, just what, just what we needed was some, some bonus seaweed on the line. Ay, ay, ay. All right, there's the float. We lost the seaweed. That's good. He's in that heavy current seam we've been talking about all morning. Just got to be patient. Bend out hooks, break hooks, pull pull the hook out of its mouth. Holy cow, guys! Hopefully, he doesn't go on another run. You know? For some reason they keep coming right up in here. That that's what the last one did too. It's gotta be something they like about yeah, it. Yeah, get ready. Get ready. He's turned. I had him turned. Shoot. Oh jeez. Come on, not again. Oh Yeah, dude. I mean seriously. Holy cow. I can't, yeah, he's literally just, he's just swimming away with me. This is ridiculous. Did you see how close that guy cast it? He damn near hit the, I mean, he was two feet off the boat. He almost, got, guys I'm sure cast, cast it at the boats. You just be patient, they're out of your way in 10 seconds. And everybody's happy. But that dude was not happy, let him know it. Big, big half ounce or three quarter ounce inline sinker to the fiberglass. <laughs> oh, sorry, Tom, you're not getting much fishing in, bro. He's also doing Superman drifts, which is wild. Did you see his float just right next to us? Yeah. All the way down here, like, dude. He knows fight the fish. It's got uh, yeah. Holy cow. All right, man. Morning. Good morning. Okay. Not happy. <laughs> that trolling motor has been in my house. <laughs> yeah, does that look familiar? Morning. 
Tommy does uh, some repair, some friends and family repairs on trolling motors. He, he may have recognized the one on that boat. <laughs> Get ready, bud. Holy cow. Yeah, Tom. Nice nut job, buddy. Way to stick in there. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at the size right. of that thing. Zoom right in there, Tom. Look at that beautiful fish. Holy cow. I mean, just. Right. Should be ready to go. Yeah. For a minute. Just a giant. All right. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's exhausting. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can do about that center pin, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bud. All right. We re-rigged after that last fish. Uh, only because stuff gets a little banged up. A lot of boats in here now. You can see the waves. I think there's eight of them drifting. And uh, it's pretty wild. Pretty wild. See about, I, I was telling you, I mean, there's definitely steelhead in here, but uh, these lake trout, there's just so stinking many of them that it's very, very challenging. Oh, thought I had another one. Jeez Louise. Gotta wait for these guys to get past and then we'll drop one in there. I'm surprised they're not hooking up. It's right where we've been doing the damage. But we'll wait a minute for them to get by and see what we can do. lucky. <laughs> you don't get too many snags back down here. Got that one back. Everything's good. Let's see what we can do. gonna get tough here with once the boats start rolling through here the fish really oh you got that bobber down fish on fish on boy we're on to them here this morning holy smokes unbelievable guys <laughs> unbelievable i think you got that bobber down crazy crazy see the boats drifting by right there again this fish is only about six feet off the shore but it's ten feet deep right there and so he is straight down below my float I don't know if you can see that but I mean he's right there 
We're gonna need Tom here in a minute. Oh shoot. He might be ready. Ah, uh, he's getting close. Oh, it's that, and that double bead rig is great, but it gets stuck on rocks. You know, it's, it gets a little messy. Tom, Tom's gotten smart now. He takes his time. <laughs> I say, you got smart now. You take your time. Oh, he's ready. Yeah, yeah he's ready, bud. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Not the, not the greatest situation. <laughs> Just laying here. See if you can get down there and get him. He's going to see you. Yeah, he's probably going to see you and take off. I think that's bigger than the last one. I don't know, man. They're, they're big. There he is right there. Grab, grab the... Yeah, nice. All right. Got another one. We'll, take, we'll get back with you in a second here. But, man. Thomas. All right. I lost count. Four or five. Right? We'll call it 15. I'm gonna hold this guy up real quick for y'all to see, but oh my god. Just giant, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just giant. So get him back in the water. I mean look at ready to go. We'll take good care of them in there. They're okay. Heck yeah! <laughs> look at that. That's so fun. Nice. Oh my god, it is fun. I mean there's nothing like it. He's a huge fish, heavy, heavy current. I don't know if it shows for you guys, but um, there's no easy fight, right? I mean, they just, they pound, they pound. So uh, that one was actually behaving. All right, we got that fish released. We'll walk back up here and see if we can't repeat. Let's see his treacherous walking through here. Whoever laid these rocks down could have done a nicer job. <laughs> but I think we're in pretty good shape to go. All right, yeah, everything looks in order. See what we can do. Whew. Give this boat a second to clear. Again, I don't know. I mean, you can see the current probably a little bit there, but uh, guys that think that these fish come in easy, I'm here to tell you, they do not. They fight you right to the right to the end. So, we got a hero drifter right next to us there. Yeah, the last one was cool. I think you got a, uh, I think you got a bobber down on that. Oh, there's a missed one. Just missed one. Holy cow! Guys, he popped it. I just, just totally missed it. Oh, I don't know what that was. That might have been a steelhead, maybe. I don't know. Oh. I set the hook and I lost everything. Shoot. All right, well, <laughs> we got some re-rigging to do. Current picked up a little bit out there. It's a little bit quicker. Sometimes I think that's better. It doesn't give them a lot of time to study what's coming down. <laughs> Holy cow, Tom. Yeah. Yep. Took off on a huge run. Jeez, it ran right at me. Oh, there it goes again. That fish, as soon as I hooked it, just screamed off drag. And then came running right back. Now he's going back again. And you can see I'm also hanging on to the... Oh, he's out there. I don't know if you can see that. Jeez. Oh, my God. Tom, we're going to have to chase this guy. He's way down below you. He's way he's way down below, the, below where you were standing. Grab the net and follow me quick. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to reel him up that far. Holy cow. Maybe he'll change his mind and come back on his own. Oh, 
Holy cow, you guys. That thing took such a run, we had to run down the shoreline and chase him. He's right here now. Jeez. I had my, I had my finger on the spool and everything. Trying to slow him down, yeah, he just wouldn't. I don't know. I have no idea. It, it's a big fish. Look at it go. I mean, holy cow. I guess I'm gonna, I need to find some quieter water. Right here, like, oh. Jeez. <laughs> That's what I thought. With the boat wakes and the, the current just happened to roll up right then, he just had everything he needed. We got all kinds of boats coming down. If he runs, there's a chance he'll go under a boat. Ah, look at him, Tom. Holy cow. And I cannot move this guy. Holy cow. There's a really good current right there that he's sitting in. Just sunning himself. <laughs> Still resting. I gotta find some quiet water, Tom. It might be right where you're standing is my best chance. Holy cow. I only got a single bead on now. Oh my God. Is it a big laker again? I saw his belly. Jeez, come on. If he's there for the taking. Grab the other side of the hoop. Holy cow, you guys. <laughs> oh, easy. We almost I lost you. Giant put, him, put him back in the water. Oh, my God. Look at the size yeah, of that that's thing. That's just a pig. Holy cow. All right, guys. We're All right, gonna get guys. Him probably the biggest fish of the day. We had to chase this guy uh, down the river. He just would not stop. I don't know if, you can, if Tommy can get a... Sh I mean, that's my hand spread out. It's, not cover. It's a big one. <laughs> it's a giant, Tom. Yes. Try to keep him in the water, but see if we can give you a look. Oh. <laughs> He's just mammoth. Oh my God, you guys. He's a monster. He's an absolute, look at that. Absolute monster fish. Just give him a second to revive. That was a, that was a hard fight. Yeah. I really didn't think I was gonna get him. Everything went wrong. Tons <laughs> of boats, tons of current, and I just, <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah. Nice job, Tom. Thank you, bud. Appreciate Just making it. our way back up after catching that that monster. Holy cow! I'm actually tired. I lost count. That's like five or six. I think we lost one or two. So I'm doing all right. The net put back. Oh, I caught the net. Thank goodness I uh, I had just went to to 10 pound leader, just a little bit heavier, a lot of boat traffic, a lot of current. So I was like, well, here we go. Oh, guy up from me's got one. Fish on, guys. So many boats in here, it got quiet for a second. 
but we're back into another one. This might be the last fish of the day if we get it in. We'll have to see. I gotta try to fight it and keep it close to shore. Because these boats are these boats are close. We will see. We will see. It's good man. Guys got fires going. Smoky. <laughs> the, the wind change. Like the wind change direction. It smells <laughs> like a campsite down here. Or a popular downtown. <laughs> you know, people have campfires in downtowns now. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Again, the trouble is the boats. If this thing goes on a run, uh, nobody's paying attention. You want to grab my when you're done when you're done you want to grab mine might be able to get a couple of the boats in the shot yeah grab a couple of that we might as well Woo. i think this is a very big one just oh man it's going crazy sideways yep Holy cow. Yeah. Go, stick, go, go ahead and stick that in your pocket. Yeah, right? It never happens that way. <laughs> Gosh, you're beautiful. This is not a very big one. Gave us a little bit of a. Yeah, this was this is uh, Tommy's trainer right here. Jeez, even when they're not big. Good lord, yeah, right. If, he'd be a lot nicer in the net. You, <laughs> you can make me bring him to you, aren't you? <laughs> I'm like, what's Tom doing? He's getting down on his you, knees in the water. I came from all the way over there. <laughs> Tom's exhausted. <laughs> He's like, you bring that fish right to me. There we go. All right, guys. It's like we've done it before. All right, here we go. We got this one unhooked. This is like a normal size fish, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's like normal. Look at the spawning colors though. The fins, I mean, they're just, they're absolutely gorgeous fish. So no steelhead today. We're going to get this guy back. He's gone. Um, no steelhead today. That's probably the last fish of the day for me. Tom's got work, you know, <laughs> or something, uh, keeping us plenty busy. He almost took a bath right there. <laughs> so, uh, hey, if you like this, subscribe. We really appreciate the support. Um, hopefully we'll see a few of you on the way out, and uh, we'll catch you next time. All right. Cool, man. Thanks. <laughs>